Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So I recently saw this clip from Democratic presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren speaking at a Democrat town hall on the topic of climate crisis. And I'll play you some of the clips here of what she said and um, you'll see why I'm responding here. I was just shocked as many of you will be about how dismissive, how flippant she was about the leading cause of greenhouse gas emissions. She's either obviously completely uninformed or just has personal biases that, that won't allow her to look at her own life and see the role of eating what eating meat might have as far as greenhouse gas emissions. Well, let's jump right into it. There are a lot of ways that we try to change our energy consumption and our pollution. And God bless all of those ways. Some of it is with light bulbs, some of it is on straws, some of it, dang, is on cheeseburgers, right? So once she said that thing about cheeseburgers, a lot of red flags went off for me and I really started paying attention to her. There are a lot of different pieces to this, and I get that people are trying to find the part that they can work on and what can they do, and I'm in favor of that, and I'm gonna help and I'm gonna support, but understand, this is exactly what the fossil fuel industry hopes we're all talking about. <laughs> That's what they want us to talk about. So what? She's saying that the fossil fuel industry wants us to talk about ways of reducing greenhouse gas emissions like by, say, eating fewer cheeseburgers, switching to plant-based meats, huh? This is your problem. They want to be able to stir up a lot of controversy around your light bulbs, around your straws, and around your cheeseburgers. When 70% of the pollution, of the carbon that we're throwing into the air comes from three industries. And next, I was waiting for her to list these three industries, starting with animal agriculture. But instead, that's all she said, just three industries. And I wasn't the only one left wondering who or what these three industries were. PolitiFact, a fact-checking political website, wondered the same thing and actually contacted her campaign to see which three industries she was referring to, or at least where she got her data from. Her campaign then directed them to the United States Environmental Protection Agency's webpage on greenhouse gas emissions, which listed the three largest sectors, not industries, the three largest sectors accounting for 78% of all greenhouse gas emissions. And as you see here, the three largest sources of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions by sector, not by industry, are transportation, electricity, and industry. The problem with Elizabeth Warren saying that these three big industries are the biggest polluters as far as greenhouse gas emissions goes is that they're not all necessarily industries, especially if one of the three itself is called industry. Let's look at transportation. That includes people driving their cars for pleasure or for business, taking airplane flights. So that's not really the transportation industry. It's just the activity of transporting. So let's have an actual look at what is the number one cause of greenhouse gas emissions. Let's look at the United Nations report from their Food and Agriculture Organization Committee. And their report from 2006 says clearly that it's animal agriculture responsible for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions more than transportation, which was number one as far as sectors go, according to the United States Environmental Protection Agency. And a more recent, insightly different analysis from the United Nations FAO committee found similar results, saying that 14.5% of all greenhouse gas emissions are due to animal agriculture. So instead of relying on the EPA's website for all her facts about greenhouse gas emission sources in the U.S., I suggest that Elizabeth Warren continue to further ed her education on the matter and look at what the United Nations has published. As I've shown here, it's not the three evil industries that she pointed out that weren't even necessary industries, animal agriculture is a leading source of climate change. In fact, the United Nations just recently put out another report, which I covered in a video last week, I'll link to it in the show notes and up in the cards, where they, they were clear, they issued a dire warning saying that we must act immediately and we need to change how we produce food and what we eat, meaning eat way less meat if we want to have any hope of avoiding climate change. Some of it is with light bulbs, some of it is on straws, some of it, dang, is on cheeseburgers, right? Well, yes, I know you're being facetious there, but yes, it actually is on cheeseburgers and all forms of meat production. So, Elizabeth Warren, if you really truly want to have a 
solid, meaningful plan that truly addresses greenhouse gas emissions, it's absolutely irresponsible to completely ignore the number one cause, the number one source of greenhouse gas emissions, animal agriculture. Instead, just try to blame it on these industries. And I'm not saying you know, transportation or petroleum industries are great. I have no stocks or vested interests in them. I'm just saying, how can you ignore the leading cause of, cl of climate change and greenhouse gas emissions if you truly want to address greenhouse gas emissions? So I ask you to step it up. Maybe you'll have to address some of your personal biases. And yes, it is on cheeseburgers. Want some further proof? Well, the University of Michigan did a comparison as far as greenhouse gas emissions, energy, land use, as far as producing traditional burgers versus plant-based burgers, in this case, Beyond Burgers. And this study concluded that Beyond Burgers use 99% less water, 93% less land, and 90% fewer greenhouse gas emissions. 90%! That's a huge number. Are you listening, Elizabeth Warren? And another reason why this is so huge, let's translate that over to that Americans eat 50 billion burgers a year. That's amazing. But if every American just swapped out one of these beef burgers for a Beyond Burger an entire year, just one burger, that would be the equivalent of taking 12 million cars off the roads. Some of it, dang, is on cheeseburgers, right? Yes, that's absolutely right, Elizabeth Warren. Cheeseburgers, steak, all forms of meat, animal agriculture, you need to address that in your plan for climate change. So I'm not making this video to shame you or pick on you. I know what it's like to run for political office myself. There's a lot of issues, a lot of facts to, to know. And if this is not your strong suit, you know, I'm not blaming you. There's always more we can learn. And hopefully she'll learn something and realize that animal agriculture needs to be addressed in her climate change plan and not just like sweep it under the rug or just be all flipping about it. It needs to be addressed. I want to see these major candidates actually address animal agriculture's role in greenhouse gas emissions. And that's one reason why, since they're not doing that or not addressing that, that's what inspired me to want to run for political office because I'm not afraid to talk about it. In fact, I want to open up these discussions in the public. So if you haven't already seen my video where I announced my candidacy for city council in the city of Long Beach, I'll link to that in a card and down here. And please come to my website, ryanlum.net. I can use your donations which must go to my campaign i can't use them for personal expenses I'm, i just pressed up some cards here a thousand of them want to get some signs made want to run some ads online and i need your contributions to go up against these very well-funded competitors that i'm running against even an incumbent for the seat as well so please help me out ryanlum.net appreciate it so anyway leave your comments and questions down below did you hear about this, this you know, elizabeth warren cheeseburger situation and what did you think you know were you aware being a vegan or environmentalist and knew she was absolutely wrong and one to tell her and that's why i make these videos to try to get this information out there so comment down below hit like share it and remember guys it doesn't suck being vegan Change.